Hi, I'm Clay Lehman with Resolute Property Management. Today we will continue our video series for do-it-yourself landlords. Today's video will focus on marketing your property for rent. In today's rental market, we have lots of tenants competing over not as many properties. So you have high demand and low supply. That puts you in a great position to get maximum rent for your property and hopefully be able to place the best possible tenant. And that's something very important to keep in mind. When you're marketing your property, your goal isn't just to get it rented as quickly as possible, but it's to place the best tenant that you can. But today's video focuses on making your property stand out above the rest. It starts with how you present your property. So tip number one is to have professional photographs taken of your property. It's much less expensive than you think. It's typically going to cost between $100 and $150, you know, give or take, depending on the size of the house. The vast majority of tenants will connect with your property online. That means that they're going to see digital pictures of your property on the internet. The best way for them to see it and experience it is by having a professional photographer that knows about lighting, that knows about how to maximize the space, how to take these pictures to present the property. So tip number one, professional photography. Tip number two is a robust, but honest marketing description. When you're writing a marketing description of your home, your goal is to paint a picture of the home for that tenant. And you're trying to sell a product. So you want to make it as positive and you know, flowery as possible, but you got to balance the line between, you know, over promising and under delivering. Cause the last thing you want is for tenants to come and feel like you, you baited and switched them. So just write up a very robust flowery description talking about all the positive attributes of the property and make sure that you're accurately describing the property. One of the things that I like to do um, when I'm writing up a marketing description for a property is I'll take a look at some properties in the area and see what they're highlighting, uh, you know, particularly uh, as it relates to nearby amenities or parks or things of that nature. But then also if they're talking about things that might be attractive to tenants that are a feature of the house that I'm advertising. Um, so tip number two, is the robust and honest marketing description. So tip number three is online marketing. So like I said earlier, about 80 or 90% of tenants are gonna engage with the property online. They start their search online. So what does that mean? Your listing needs to be online. So there are a number of resources for you to use as a do-it-yourself landlord to advertise your uh, house for rent online. Uh, Zillow, Trulia, Hotpads. Zillow and Trulia really dominate the market. Um, Hotpads, Apartments.com. I, mean, I would just I would just do a Google search for uh, homes or apartments for rent in your area, see what comes up, and then see how you get your property listed on there. Also, Craigslist is an available resource for you to use. Craigslist is a little bit of the wild, wild west uh, in terms of, you know, it's not as um, structured as a Zillow or a Trulia. And I'm making a shameless plug here for another video series we did about Craigslist scams. Now to be clear, whether you list your property on Craigslist or not, I don't believe will increase or decrease your risk of being the victim of a Craigslist scam. I think it's a perfectly legitimate place to market your property for rent. But as we um, detail in this video series that we've done, there are some um, people that take advantage of Craigslist. But again, it's a great place for you to market your property for rent. Another great place is there are a lot of neighborhood groups that you might um, post your property for rent. So like if you're in a neighbor's Facebook group, or if your neighborhood has a specific um, group on a social media platform, that's a great place for you to advertise your property for rent. So tip number three is to utilize online marketing. Tip number four, you may not think of this, but 
you will get inundated with interest in your property. Now that assumes certain things, that you're in an active real estate market, that you're marketing the property at the appropriate price. Um, but in this market, there is a good chance that you will be inundated with people interested in your home. I don't know about you, but I kind of like to protect what I call the sanctity of my contact information. I don't want it everywhere. So I would look at setting up alternative contact information. There's options like Google Voice that will allow you to set up an alternative number that will still ring through to your cell phone. But the advantage of this is you can turn it on and off as you please and not have it impact your existing cell phone number. Another product, obviously, to set up is a, an alternative email address. And there's, as we all, you know, we're all well aware, there's many opportunities for you to do this. I like Gmail, and I believe if you set up a Gmail, then you can connect your Google Voice to that Gmail account. Then you can kind of turn it on and off as your property is available for rent or use it for other, you know, things where you don't want to give out your existing contact information. So tip number four is to obtain and advertise using alternative contact info. So to recap our tips for today, it's professional photography, a robust but honest marketing description, online marketing, and alternative contact information. Again, I'm Clay Lehman with Resolute Property Management. This video is one of a series that we're doing for do-it-yourself landlords. If you found this to be valuable information, I would encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Thank you so much.